let us consider a brief quote from Marcus Aurelius. The object of life is not to be on the side of the majority, but to escape finding oneself in the ranks of the insane. What did Marcus Aurelius mean by that? A lot of times we make choices based on the response of the majority. For example, if we don't have enough time to reflect on a given situation, we follow the crowd to avoid danger. For example, if we see a large group of people running away from a building or trying to escape it because it's on fire, we know instinctively that going back inside would endanger our life and expose us to harm. In this case, the group behavior can be beneficial in that it can save us from getting hurt or losing our life. However, there are situations in which following the crowd may not be so beneficial. We have been given reason and mental faculty to reflect on our choices and to think for ourselves. If actions or norms of the majority, generally approved by the society, fall short of the universal principles of goodness, justice, morality or ethical behavior, you should reject them outright, regardless of whether such actions are socially acceptable or not. To give you an example, Slavery was once legal and socially acceptable. Taking advantage of other people's lives and using them for manual labor, entertainment and other degrading practices was widely acceptable and legal. Women having no rights or possessing lesser rights than men was also legal. Gladiator fights to the death in the arena were legal in ancient Roman Empire. Racial segregation and discrimination against people of different skin colors was legal in the 20th century and majority of the population consented to it. It also led to suffering, violence, persecutions, mob attacks and countless of deaths of innocent individuals. Therefore, groupthink and conformity to social norms, if they go against the core principles of humanity, or ethical behavior is not necessarily a good thing. When deciding as to whether something is right or wrong, always consider whether your actions will have a positive or negative impact on someone's life and well-being. If it is likely to cause them good or harm, if it impacts the environment you're living in, if it causes emotional, physical or mental harm to people or other living beings such as animals, causing deliberate harm or abusing others, following corrupt politicians or authorities who tolerate or promote injustice and persecutions is a sign of madness and moral degradation. It's a sign of insanity. As Marcus Aurelius aptly put it, you should escape finding yourself in the ranks of the insane. Therefore, when making choices, do not be blindly following the masses, but always consider the bigger picture and, most of all, think for yourself.